Hey guys, so you might remember Sam Pepper from some of the other wonderful videos that we did. What's going on? What's uh, happening? You asked me to help you be straight. That's a lie. I told you I'm gonna help you be straight. <laughs> But you know what? I think like putting yourself in someone else's shoes is a great way exactly. to- Exactly, you might like it. You're, well, let's okay. not get carried away. But people tend to be afraid of what they don't understand and I'm afraid of straight people. So today I'm gonna face my fears. Oh, thanks, cheers. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm just trying to keep my distance. I'm not scared of gay people. <laughs> yeah, I've got some clothes to help you on your way. Okay. A very manly thing to do is wear boxes that have stupid slogans on them like, Wanna screw. This is against thing. everything that I thought. Aren't they the most horrific things? No, Wanna screw. You, they sell this? Yeah. My skinny jeans are so tight that all you would see is this underneath it. It would look like I'm wearing a diaper. And I thought to match it, we need to get a t-shirt. Uh, with again, the slogan is key to everything. So I've got the most manly one we can. It is so. Do. First of all, this is a moo moo. I wanted to go with the most manly slogan I could, so I got this one, and it says. We interrupt this marriage to bring you hunting season. It's Annie. <laughs> Isn't that the most oh, manly man. thing you've ever no, seen? It's sad. Let's get you changed. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Ready for the transformation? Three, two, one, straight. Oh my god, you actually look straight, by the way. Is it, okay. deadly serious. This is like. Your face is still really, like, pretty. Like, is it too pretty? pretty to be like a guy. You, think you know I'm what pretty? I mean? Like, to be like a, a mad, like you know what I mean. Maybe I need to smile less. Yeah, maybe that's it. You have really good teeth, so like hide don't them. Show them. Bit. Yeah, I don't want to show my like, good teeth. Yo. So now that I have the look down, I think we need to. <laughs> yeah, you got it down. Yeah. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Kiss my smooth, hairless <laughs> ass. We need to go and get you some. Pussy! That's what you meant to say. That some pussy. No, pussy. Now you think that this say sends. That. Puss, pussy, pussy. <laughs> Do you think that this sends the right message with this whole bit? Do you think girls like this? What, the tits? Yeah, no, 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 my tits. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you've got breasts. Yeah. Um, you've yeah got, and your shoulders are like. I've got some big titties. Do you know some what I mean? Big titties, yo. Oh my god, you're hopeless. <laughs> okay, let's go and get some girls. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know if there's any restaurants around here? No, you don't? Sorry, I'm not from here. Okay, alright. Do you guys know if there's any restaurants here? Okay, so they, they straight up looked at me and went like this, and then turned around. Do you, do you have any recommendations? <laughs> um, I mean, I look for the farmer's market. Would you guys ever be up for getting a drink? Um, um sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. Why not? Okay, so like, I don't think that you could possibly understand how painful this is for me to watch. Oh my god. And just when you don't think that it could possibly get any worse, I literally knocked the french fries out of a girl's hands. Ah! Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so, sorry. I'm so sorry. But then I saw an angel. No, I, didn't I like your cat top. That's oh, cool. Thank you. Where did you get it? Um, Nasty Gal. From where? Nasty Gal. Why did I ask her where she bought her t shirt? Why am I the worst straight guy in the world? Oh my god, but then wait for it. This is the part where I'm like, oh, you have really nice hair. But as I'm saying it, I realize how gay I sound saying it. And so I'm like trying to suck the words back in my mouth, but they've already come out. It's, it's just really bad. You're really pretty. <laughs> Would you be up for getting uh, a drink sometime? Um, we're actually staying with our cousin. We're leaving tonight. Oh, you are? Yeah. Well, can I get your number just the same? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sweet Jesus and Mary and Joseph and the Holy Trinity that I got this girl's number. But then afterwards, we asked her why she gave it to me. Take a look. So, so why did you give me your number? I felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I look like in real life. Yeah. Why would you what? do that to that? No, why would you? What the hell? That's what's up. Show the body, show the body in real life. <laughs> yeah, can we get oh, oh, oh. 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 You could have had you could have had all this. <laughs> I feel like yes, I'm partly to blame because I literally said to that girl, uh, I, I like your shirt. Where did you get it? Why was a guy, a straight guy I've wanted to know why a girl got her t shirt? But like for a, for a gay guy, I could be like, oh, I like your shirt, like, where did you get it? I wasn't yeah. thinking, and I was like, I like your hair. I didn't know what to say, I panic. But I also feel like you set me up for, for failure because of the outfit that I was wearing. I'm gonna be honest, the outfit was bad and the slogan was bad, but I think I could still get a girl's number in the outfit. I don't think you could. Maybe it's, it's like the following. Admit it's a lot harder to get a girl's number than you think. It is so hard to get a girl's phone number. I, yeah. I have a newfound respect for straight guys. The thing with 
The thing is, with girls, they instantly have a defense where as soon as you ask for a number, I mean, like well, 100 guys have asked before, and I don't know that. And when your shirt says something about like how you want to shoot someone and like leave your marriage, I think that doesn't necessarily send the right I'll message. Blame it on the shirt. Destroy it. So I think the moral of the story is I think I'm gonna stick with guys. I'm done with women. I'm sticking with guys. Be true to yourself because it is way too much. It is way too much work and way too much effort. So now for part two, I am going to make Sam into a gay twink. So click on over to watch that, or you can subscribe oh, to Sam. Nice or you can subscribe to me right here. So check it out. I love you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Peace out.